You want your husband to pray five times a day. He's not praying five times a day. Okay. If you're not praying five times a day, you have to start with that. You can't force a human being into submission of a They have to force themselves into submission, right? If I want my husband to take a medication and I think it's better for him, unless he's incapable of caring for himself and I can just put that in his mouth, Right now, he's not in charge of himself. He's, let's just say, God forbid, he's become, okay. he's become ill and he's just lying on the bed. Then I can control him. But that's really the only time that you can control a person. Right? Okay. And and all you can do is have patience in that. And it's very difficult. In fact, sometimes I laugh and jokingly say when I'm not being listened to that this must be a strong test for me in this moment. Really for either something more difficult coming or a reward coming. Okay. One or the other. Okay. Either this event going on that I have to control myself within, you know, hey, do this. No, I don't want to do it. Okay. okay. Do you what know do, do you know that you are traveling or you are going towards something very difficult? Yeah. It's do you difficult. realize that? Yeah. Well, because right. yes. Allah Ta'ala again and again and again and again has tested even His prophets. Exactly. That's the thing. Who are we? <laughs> so, Who are we? So do you, do you realize yeah. that this is the most difficult yeah. path that you have chosen for yourself? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay. It is. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you are going into it realizing that. Yeah. And knowing that the Allah be gentle upon us, that, Amen. you know, the... The, the more you seek him, sometimes the more difficult things become. Right? It starts with candy, right? Yes. Latala calls you with candy. It tastes really sweet. And then, then little by little, it becomes very difficult. But see, this is the thing. This is my belief system, that once you know the truth, no matter how much pain it is, you can't turn away from it. Okay. Because it hurts too much. That's, you become your only source of, of coolness. Right is is the, the mercy of Allah. With through these circumstances, so you coolness. believe in the mercy of Allah to a point that you say, "This is it." Well, that this that for instance, that if I'm having a pain in this world, okay, whatever you want to term it, okay. physical pain, a mental okay. pain, that it hurts really bad here, but. When the day of Qiyamah comes, inshallah, I learn that that pain saved me from Jahannam. From maybe I'll still end up there, right? But maybe it saved me for two minutes of Jahannam, right? And that pain, right, is something that we can't even fathom because we're not there, and it's something we don't even truly know. Okay. Right? We've been explained it, but in in the, in our worldly terms, we understand it. Okay. Right? So, so what is the so, so the idea is is that tribulation itself was a protection. Okay, that's how you look at it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Now, you just took a... You made a... I'm going to use a very, very harsh word. Okay? okay? Huh. In the presence of your husband. Yes. You said, I want my husband to pray five times. Inshallah. Okay? Absolutely. And he was standing right here. And he was hearing you. Yes. Okay? Yes. And you thought that it is his betterment. Yes. In the all of our betterment. All of our betterment that he should pray five times. Absolutely. Okay. Now, is this a message you were conveying to him, or it was your own? It's my own desire that my, he. Well, it's my desire that. Well, this is the thing. This is why I tell my family. You know, when I heard this hadith about uh, a simple person coming to the Prophet peace be upon him, and said, if I observe all five pillars of Islam, will I be allowed to turn up? And the Prophet said, well, you know, if, yes, if you do all five pillars, right, with sincerity, you will be entered him. Okay. But that's like the, then that, what does that mean? Anything below that is not acceptable. Not acceptable. Okay. So what is one of the pillars of Islam? Namaz. Salat, yeah. Right, Salat, Namaz, yeah. prayer, yeah. right? So, so that's, that that's... is That is important. So you do you want... I think you should have him say the Azan. 
Mm-hmm. Every day when you pray, yeah. he should say the azan. That come for salat. Yes. Maybe that would trigger your desire Inshallah. for him to pray five times, Inshallah. right? Absolutely. So you wake him up at 4.45 in the morning and say, give the azan Inshallah. in the house. Do you know the azan, Mush? Okay, so what is, does it say about Salah? Come to the pray. Actually, what, what are the words? <sighs> what does that mean? Come to success. What? Come to success. And what does the other part mean? First, it says come to prayer. So, she wants, right now, she made a statement that I want my husband to pray five times. So, it is her desire that you should go to Jannat. Yes. 